Hello and welcome back to Tours and Tournaments. We're going to start today with something that I usually do off camera but I've decided to do on camera here just because there is a reason to actually do it in the slower way. Now what we should do is we should actually ransom all of our prisoners from now on as in we should use the ransom button. The reason for this is that if we can ransom them we get prestige. If we get prestige then we have prestige for wars. Basically it's a fairly simple plan. So we're going to do that first and we're going to go through all of them. The reason I didn't do that off camera is that uh, usually it only ransoms like one, then you have to go back, then you have to go back and forward, back and forward, back and forward. And I was just like, you know what? We can just do this on camera. So that's what we're going to do. Um, we are currently here in our tour. Where, where does our tour go? It goes like over this way somewhere. Yeah, so it's kind of doing a rush down to Mecca at this point. And then we're coming back. So we have... 23 months left on that. Okay, what else do we have? We have four years on Krakow. We have three years on this one. After four years, we need to get those two provinces in Germany done. And then we can uh, get that uh, tech that we're missing. Uh, which should unlock, I imagine, almost instantly. Um, and beyond that, then we're kind of looking over here at taking some more of these bits of land. How is Hockney doing? He's winning his war. Oh. Well done, him. But yeah, we should probably think about declaring a big war on this guy. I think that, that's going to be one of our big ones that is currently left. Do you have multiple kingdoms? You have four kingdoms. Ugh. What's your empire? Yeah, you hold most of the empire too. Yeah, it's going to be a problem. But yeah, I think the, a couple of big ones against some of these guys could definitely uh, be very good for us. Maybe take a bit of that one next as well. That could be definitely be good. But yeah, and kind of move our way into this corner. Anyway... Um, we can't do any of that till we finish the tour, so we're back on tour. There you go, you see, see I'm getting 37 prestige. Because I think you get prestige equal to the money that you get in a ransom. Which means we are going to get a lot of prestige this way, which is going to help us. Although we have to do that, I think we have to do this, uh, I said five characters originally? No, no it's, it was one character, maybe there's still someone waiting on. Two characters? Let's see. I'm only getting hooks for some of them, which is not very good. So maybe doing this manually is the only way we can do it. But anyway, whatever. Yeah, because we're only getting hooks, and hooks do not give you prestige because they're worth zero uh, money. You need someone to marry. So actually, like, top option is perfect. Yeah, that, that's every single trait gets guaranteed to pass along. And it gets us an internal alliance. Yeah, okay, I think I'm probably happy with that one. That seems like a pretty solid marriage. <laughs> All things considered, same age, basically. You know, not too bad. Oh, we've got a new Folk Walding Dynasty head. We still can't be a Folk Dynasty head because our house head is our father. And he probably will be for a while, but there's not really a lot that they can do to us. Um, the only main issue is if they decide that they're going to um, disinherit us or something. But, I mean... I don't imagine they will, basically. It's not a great argument for it, but like, I do, just don't think they will. Um, so we don't need to worry about it. Uh, I'm just going through the last of these ones here just to finish them off. Um, oh, guess I'll get a weak hook with you. But yeah, just to finish these ones off and to move them out the list. Out the list. Um, and then we'll get back to the tour. Go another couple here, so we'll do that one. I actually didn't have, get nearly as much prestige as I thought I could have done this entirely off camera because only one of them was actually worth gold, even though we had five of them to do. That's fine, right? Let's let all of those go through. We got on our we got our alliance, which is great, and that gets another perfect traded person into our court, which is always nice. Oh, you know what? I think there is one thing I forgot to do, but we'll uh, do that in a second. Um, okay. I can lose stress or become more majestic. Oh, let's put become more majestic. Also, then it's going to gain some stress. Okay. What we could do is we could go into here and just double check these. Because I think I was meaning to double check these at one point and then just didn't. Uh, but I think most people are at good anyway, so that's fine. See, now we have an excellent food taster, so we'll put in our excellent food taster. That's fine. It does cost us a little prestige to do this, I think, each time we swap, but that's okay. You can be this person now. It's 200 prestige, right? Yeah, and he doesn't like me, but whatever. That's fine. 
you're poor as a court poet. We have much better court poets now. Wonderful. Excellent, excellent. Um, here, excellent. I know it doesn't say so, but I do think that if you have a better person in one of these positions, it probably affects the... Do you have anybody here? No. Um, it probably affects what events you get as well. Like, if you have people who are excellent, they're pro you're probably getting better events, I'm assuming. Like, it's, I assume it doesn't just affect the bonus, it also affects everything else. But, I don't know. We'll see. Well, I mean, we probably won't probably won't notice the difference, because I'm currently not reading every single event that pops up. But, yeah. I'm ass that's, that's my assumption, is that if I go from good to excellent, then we'll have better events. But, yeah. Um, doesn't really matter about the bonuses we're getting at the time, because most of them are just court grandeur, which we're already maxed on, so. Uh, organized march, definitely. We love uh, the army movement speed, and the travel speed will actually immediately affect us, because it's going to change this from 23 months to... Uh, to... 23 months. Oh. I thought our organized march should increase it, but I guess it does it, yeah, maybe it just doesn't, maybe it's got a max. Oh, it does have a max, that's plus 99. Oh, okay. Yeah, we are as fast as we can ever be. I, I actually did not know that, capped out, but that's good to know. Uh, I can tax you for 900 gold and it, I only lose 10 opinion, or I can gain stress. Yeah, whatever. It's fine. Uh, we want noble tutoring. Yep, monthly lifestyle experience is good, so we'll have that. And now we chill. We continue letting our tour go. Okay. Um, Just thinking where we want to go after this. I guess we probably want to go down... Once we finish this, we either want to go down Overseer for a little extra stewardship, or we want to actually go into stewardship, like after we got this and then, like, Chivalric Dominance or something. I don't know. We'll see. And increase liege taxes in these places. Uh, they're probably worth quite a lot, but I'll just pretend I didn't see it and get a weak hook. Um, so I can arrest traitors. Do not speak of ill of the Jarl. Have at you. And I get peasant leader humiliated. Oh, let's do that. Wonderful. Uh, then I will demand my tribute. Which will hopefully be, yeah, some prestige. Wonderful. Greatest knight of Frisia needs a successor. So that is this one. This one. This one? There we go. The successor is going to be... Uh, Clemencia. Okay, let's um, put her in as a knight. So we're looking for 20. 20 Clemencia. There we go. Is she a folk holding? Uh, she is of our um, dynasty. Okay, cool. And then she can take the successor on that one. Wonderful. Right, carrying along. So this is as fast as you can move, which to be fair, we are moving between the provinces very quickly. Um, it's fine, we got uh, more experience, we have enough for learning, and we got our level of dedication to faith up to Paragon of Virtue for more opinion. Lovely. Here, uh, anatomical studies is a great single point thing. It just means that we have better outcomes from court physicians, which will also affect all of our knights who use our court physician, I think. Maybe I'm wrong, but I think it should affect that. Uh, because I believe that knights use your court physician when you're in battle. Oh, this is the hook we got some uh, um, episodes ago, but this is actually absolutely fine. He's got fortification rights granted. It honestly does not matter at all. I'm very happy that he chose that one over pushing himself on the council or something similar. So that's good. Um, I'm going to pay you some money. Okay. More lifestyle experience as we go through here. And all the way over this way. And we are arriving at the next place. We got an inspiration. Is it any good? You want to weave something? Sure, you can weave something. That's fine. A uh, tribute to my victory or the showcasing the untamed beauty of nature. I don't know. Beauty of nature, I guess. It seems fine. Right. Head over here. And we are once again... Oh, we got turned away. Well, uh, let's just move along. That's fine. It barely loses me any stress. Hey, new stewardship perk. Um, we'll take professional workforce. Doesn't really matter. We're really aiming for popular... F not popular figurehead, although that is nice. We're aiming for divided attention here. 
So that's good. If we can get that without even switching to stewardship, that'd be lovely. I don't think we've done quite enough to do that yet, though. Okay. I conceded my imprisonment reason on this person for another hook. Great. Love it. I love that the hooks aren't being used for putting people on the council. They're being used for, like, things I don't care about. Which is great. Need more stewardship uh, experience. Uh, are we a seasoned traveler now? We're max wanderer, not max seasoned. Okay, so we get diplomacy, learning, health boost, travel speed, more travel speed, which doesn't matter. As, as we know, we're maxed out on travel speed. But yeah, we're about to get travel safety and an extra point of stewardship. Is a point of stewardship enough? No, we need three points of stewardship in order to get ourselves to the... Um, yeah, in order to get ourselves to the next domain kind of um, limit change. Because we need to get a multiple of six. We have a son called Gizzlebert. This is our heir. He is beautiful, a genius, and Herculean. All right. Awesome. You're not employing, uh, employing a wet nurse. All right. I will employ you. Wonderful. Right. The uh, rest of this doesn't matter. We have children who can go to university, but none of that really matters. Although we should probably do, like, uh, checking of children in our court at some point, but we'll not worry about that right now. Yeah, I'd rather have prowess than have uh, extra levies, because we don't use the levies. There we go. More martial um, lifestyle experience. We'll delay five days. Uh, okay, cool. Right. And down here. So I think this is actually the next place we're visiting. This is a real visit. So we'll see. We should get more um, experience by going here. Nothing in here for us to look at. Are we doing on these ones? Three years, three years. All right, cool. Neighboring ruler, one war. Uh, okay. So you won a war. All right, so you've expanded a little bit. How's uh, Hogney doing? Hey, he's winning, but he needs a little extra money just to keep him topped up. Don't worry, we can uh, provide. There we go. There we go. A little bit of extra money. But extra money. Oh. Hadn't even sent the previous slot yet. Let's go to 2,000. There we go. He's probably lo he is gaining money a month. He's just spending it. But, you know, whatever. If he wants to win, he can win. Okay. That's fine. Um, Let's go. Vassal to remember. Sure. That's fine. Right. Uh, Clear out this list. And have we arrived yet? Nope. We're almost there. And hey, we get even more experience and stewardship. Wonderful. We can now get all of our events for being here. Shouldn't be that many, you would think. We have yet another person related to us with, again, fantastic traits. There's a new faction targeting us. Where are the factions looking? We still do have quite a few factions. Let's have a look at religion. We've almost got rid of orthodoxy over here, which is nice. Get rid of all other religions over there. Yeah, it's basically Ashari is quite difficult for us to remove, I imagine, right now. I think that's a lot of it. There's some Nestorian up there. There's some Nestorian over here that's having some trouble getting removed. But, hey, it's all all right. Um, you have won a Holy War. Okay, that's fine. Uh, yeah, kind of looking for people over there to do things that help us, but whatever. Um... I can say have at you, you knave, and gave him renown, I guess. It's fine. I will take the shot here and get some extra prestige. That's okay. He doesn't like me for it, but whatever. Hey, we're about to get the next um, martial thing. We're getting close to getting all the martial things we want, which is great. We should, in theory, be getting a lot of martial experience per month. I mean, how much are we getting right now? Uh, we're getting plus 61 a month as our, our base. It's pretty good. Uh, let's use our hunter thing to give this person some extra progress. It didn't work. Okay. Unpause. And we're in a new year. Uh, taxable, taxable extravagance. No, nope, I'll let them off for now. That's fine. And... Neighboring ruler won war. Who was that? Uh, people are converting culture. You won a war. Okay. 
Yeah, we could probably take your kingdom next. You, you seem like a good choice. The reason that you seem like a good choice is they own most of their kingdom. So we could probably grab all of that in one war, which would be great. Okay. Uh, somebody now, a court now speaks Dutch. So it's the Adai Kingdom. If we have a look at Dutch speaking um, courts, it's now just this size. We, or side, we got a couple of uh, Mongolic uh, courts here. We got some Shaz Turkish. But really, it's all switching to Dutch, which is great. Uh, here, we want Engineered for Destruction. It gets a siege weapon eff effectiveness, which will be useful when we're actually leading armies. Remember, we cannot declare war currently because we are currently at an activity already. I'm going to ask this guy for more prestige. Let's go. Cool. So we're going to get stuff for going through uh, Constantinople. Um, we must continue on our journey. I'll take the negative opinion hit because I feel like we need to just travel. Life of ruler, we can get inspired by tales. Uh, sure, why not? That's fine. A hey, prestige from completing a building, apparently. It's good. We're now at the next place. Wonderful. Uh, low levy contribution, that's fine. A lot of people have weak hooks on me, apparently. I didn't realize so many had weak hooks on me. But whatever. Oh, you know what it must be? It must be uh, these events are giving away weak hooks, because we did see one at the top once. So it must just be like ton of weak uh, hooks being given away from this, in which case I'm not really a huge fan of these, but that's fine. I'm not going to lay with you. Okay. Carrying on. What's this one? You're going to make me a box, but you're only kind of good at it. No, I think we're fine. I don't think we need any boxes, personally. Are we doing on these? Two years, three years? Okay. Um, still waiting on a way to get rid of that. This is all fine. Suspicious activity. I can learn a secret or not learn a secret. Uh, I will learn a secret. He attempted to murder someone. Okay, and get this person to join me at court in theory. Uh, sure, why not? He's an organizer. Seems good to get him into our court. Carry on. And should be nearing the final event here. Let's see. Gaged and tour the grounds. We're almost there. Local militia. Ooh, I can get organizer. Oh ho ho, ho yeah. I got the trait organizer. This is huge. So usually we were just getting the extra movement speed from our extra like like from organized march. But now we get an extra 25% movement speed. This is going to be incredible. It's actually the best thing we could have gotten here. I did not know you could get those kind of traits from doing this. That is useful info. Okay. Right. Back to traveling. Uh, so only two stops left. Yeah, so that must be like Jerusalem and then down here maybe. Uh, we'll let you have a higher quality whatever. That's fine. Carrying on. I think this one's not a real place. This is just here to get the, um... Yeah, okay, they went for high taxes, whatever. Uh, this is just here to get, um... The experience. Sorry, there's too many pop-ups. Every time I try and speak, there's like another ten pop-ups. Uh, you formed a new culture. The Butter Basque culture. Okay, cool. I'm wondering if being at peace for a moment has actually allowed um, our vassals to, you know, do things that aren't war, thereby allowing some, like, things that have been sitting there for a while to actually progress. I don't think that's necessarily the case, but, you know, maybe. Oh, you know what? Centralization would have been worth taking. I, I completely ignored it there. No, it wouldn't. We're still 100 development. I was going to say it isn't because it wasn't worth taking because we're not in Holland, but that doesn't matter because, um, yeah, it, um, the other capital still has a hundred. Give me a tapestry. Is it any good? Nope. All right. Cool. Glad we did that. I should just click it away. I know it's not going to be good before we start, but every time I'm like, well, but what if it is though? 
Yeah, we'll take Robin. Even though he's not very good, he could marry somebody who's uh, good. How are we looking in terms of this currently? Hey, we're up at season, so we get extra prowess and stewardship. Nice. It's fine. Continuing to just grab uh, lots and lots of lifestyle experience. What's this? Oh, it's just telling me I got my new artifact. Okay, I already know. You, you gave me a pop-up about that one. Right. I think this is, might be our last location to go to. And then down here isn't a location we're going to. Either that or it's the other way around. Oh wait, no. Uh, we got two left. So yeah, it might be this one and this one. That's fine. What has happened to you? Oh, you have the bubonic plague. Wait, are you in my court? No, you're in somebody else's court. Okay, well that's good. Um, yeah, stay away from me. This character will not be dying to the bubonic plague today. Thank you very much. Right. Carry on. We've arrived at the grounds of Arabia. Hey, we got some more experience. We get a new learning one here. Um, Probably wash your hands, especially knowing that, bu that bubonic plague is around. Seems like something that we should probably do. You know. Um, lowering the chance of getting that is uh, good. Not that it would necessarily kill us. We do have so many health ups that we might actually just live through it, but... You know, we don't want to. That's fine. Keep going here. It's slowly chugging through the days, but we are getting there. Just need for it to uh, yeah, finish giving us these events. What, what one is next for us here? Probably living off the land is next for us here. Yeah, living off the land and we start working through some that aren't really that useful, but then we get to sappers and we go, ooh, that's incredibly useful. Okay. I can try and give you more efficient management, or I could use soldiers like these. Sure, I'll make, give you efficient management, that's fine. Uh, get the weak hook. It's okay. Uh, we can negotiate alliances, low durability artifacts. Might as well repair them while we're here, or destroy them. It's okay. Uh, 50 months and 2 years left there. You converted from Italian to Lombard. Makes zero difference to me. Okay. More trait experience being got. We are pregnant again. Okay. Chance of uh, another child with good traits. I'll just gain the opinion. That's okay. We'll ask for tribute. We got some prestige. Uh, I can judge a uh, festival here. Okay. Back to your fields or we should survey these lands. I'll judge the festival. That's okay. And now we're going down to the last place here. Which we will get to after we go through Mecca. Which is here I think. We also just lost our executioner. Which is not ideal. We need to marry our brother Sten. Sten. You are going to marry... Rik, uh, Rikiza here. Seems great. Three traits are going to be passed down. Yeah, seems pretty good. Also, that's a fantastic um, you know, set of traits he's got there already. Okay. Let's get S uh, Sven. Was that Sven married? Anyway, that's fine. Right. Oh, um, Executioner. I don't think we had anybody, but let's have... Yeah, we have nobody, so that's fine. Need somebody to uh, break the law, and then we can have... Uh, an executioner. Okay, new martial perk. We grab living off the land for the travel safety, which should mean that nowhere is dangerous to us anymore. And then we will uh, head to our last destination. Right, travel language barrier. We can try and progress quicker. We still got lost. Oh well. Means we have to stay where we were for seven days, but it's not the end of the world. Right. What's this one? Um, I don't know. There was nothing there when I clicked on it. That's fine. More populists are facing me. That's fine. Just check our religion again. Yeah, I think some of this land is clearing up. It's just not uh, clearing up quickly enough to get rid of these populists. Although those populists might be in India. Oh, how's your war going, Hogney? You're losing. Oh. 
Well, they do have 100,000 troops. I think someone else joined the war, unfortunately, for them. It's keeping them all busy, though. Spending all their money. Weakening them. Not that they need them to be weakened, but, you know, he, he is doing that. Right. Uh, poachers. We can hunt the poachers, which will terrorize the locals. I'm um, not sure we need to do that. Or I can avoid them. I'll just avoid them. I'm the better hunter. We go. More prestige gained. Are we maxed out on that yet? We're about to be maxed out on uh, Living Legend. Wonderful. That will get us more knights and more opinion. Not quite popped, uh, maxed out on uh, piety either, are we? Nope. Okay. We're still missing a little bit on each of those. Um, my father. I can let him be known as a traitor. He, he'd be exposed in... Um, oh, wait, no. King Alder II would be exposed in, as an agent in the murder against my father. Oh, I don't care. The reason I was thinking, ooh, my father, is because I know he's in my court. So if I, I marked him a criminal, then I could potentially have him as my executioner. But anyway. We'll let our horse make a mistake. We don't have to kill it. And... I think two more events is likely what we're going to get here. We can vassalize somebody? Wait, somebody's just willing to say yes? Ooh. And why? You're just willing to say yes? Alright. Um, I would ask, and why as well, though? But, like... Well, yeah. Wait, yeah, why are you willing to say yes? Powerful vassal opinion, terrified, his opinion. Oh, okay, sure. Welcome to the team. Seems fine to me. They just want to be my vassal. Why not say yes? Um, yeah, I mean, he, here you go, I got you a vassal. Okay, we expanded. Anyone else willing to say yes now that we do, we've done that? Let's just wait a second. Parting demand. We'll ask for tribute. Um, I'm not going to be suspicious about that person. Right. I am going to, however, go into these guys and just go, you want to be my vassal? No. I think they have to be terrified of me. I think that's the problem. You would be my vassal. How about I send you a gift? Then you'd be my vassal for religious exemption. Oh, yeah. Cool. Oh, talk about religious exemption. Uh, you didn't ask for it, so... Uh, Get converted. We're about to integrate Nepal. This guy's a heretic, or we can say, mm, all right, I'll just lose my stress. Nice. Hey, guess what? I'm changing your vassal contract. Uh, you know that religious exemption that you got? I'm taking that away from you. Right, and then I'm converting you. There we go. Wonderful. Um, I'm not going to accuse this person of anything. Right, so he's now converted. Um, I think this is going to be part of your land. I'm going to grant you that vassal. Okay. You want to join me? Yeah, okay. Welcome to the team. You want to join me? Yeah, okay. Well, this is easy. <laughs> this is much better than having to declare wars. You just simply say, can I have your land? And they go, yeah, sure. And then I go, you're no longer religiously exempt. And they say, wonderful. Yeah, great. Um, welcome to the squad. Uh, you're no longer religiously exempt. Cool. Let me just wait for them both to convert. Somebody converted culture there. That's fine. And then I can grant you... That vassal. And grant you that vassal. Nice. Free land. Uh, you want to be my vassal? Yeah, okay. How about you? No. But hey, this is saving us a bunch of wars, but in theory. Yeah. Lovely. Huge amount of land that we got there for uh, nothing. How about you? You want to be my vassal for a gift? No. Okay. It's fine. First one. There we go. Change your contract so you no longer have 
religious protection, then demand that you convert, send you a gift first so you actually do convert. There we go. Wonderful. That's fine. And then I'm going to pass you over to this person. There we go. Next one. Um, wait, modify vassal contract. There we go. Uh, demand that you convert. It's fine. Yeah, I'm going to then grant you that vassal. Wonderful. Huge amount of land that we got there just for asking for it, basically. Uh, so those were all lower level people. Let's try to see if there's anybody else. Maybe these guys would say yes. Send them a little gift. Yeah, they would. Wonderful. Then a little gift to you. Yeah. How about you as well? No, you're a king. I see. That's fine. My mistake. And we got that one. Wait for the next one. Got it as well. Wonderful. We're now going to modify your contract. Go. Demand you convert. You modify contract. Demand that you convert. Let both of those go through. That's fine. We have an wait. We have another son. Uh, Alpha seems to have some uh, good traits. Good. So you both converted now. Yep. You are the your part of this kingdom, which doesn't exist. Uh, does any of that? This land is partially controlled by this one. So let's grant you these vassals. There you go. Wonderful. Look at that. You got so much land there just by saying, hey, can we have it? Oh, who's declared on you? Oh, it's internal. I see. Where, where are we? Ah, we're currently going to Alexandria. All right. Neat. Uh, anything in here for us to do? We exchange hostages? No, I don't need to do that. It's fine. Okay. Snakes at court. Don't need to worry about that either. There we go, some intrigue lifestyle experience, which barely matters. There's some marshal. Uh, I can humiliate the peasant leader with a 0% chance I die. So I think I will. Here. We took extra fertility, potentially. I don't think we necessarily need it. Dread gain is probably useful, I guess. Uh, yeah, no, I think we want dreadful. Then maybe Thriving in Chaos, maybe. I don't think any of those are really very good single point things unless we're planning on using them. Yeah, I have said my piece on Intrigue before, but another thing that's kind of a little bit off of it is that nothing is really that useful unless you're going to use it. Like, Stewardship, incredibly useful, even if you're not going to use it. It's just, like, generally good. Intrigue, you have to really, like, you have to be finding um, secrets to actually get some benefit out of that. You're not just going to have something drop into your lap, like say the uh, hooks, like golden, like golden obligations compared to that is just so much better because these will just fall into your lap. You just get something, right? Well, these ones, you have to actively be finding secrets to then be able to get the hooks off of them. So that's why I'm saying like one is just better than the other if you're not planning on going in into it and actually doing it. So anyway, and over here, I think we've been everywhere. I don't think there's actually any other stops in our journey. I think this is literally a trip back now. Yeah. How are we doing on Season Traveler, by the way? Yeah, we're a little bit in. We're not We're not quite done. I don't think we're going to get done, at least for a while. But it's not too bad. We got most of our ma martial stuff that we wanted while we are on the trip. We got a ton of prestige to work with, so we're good to go. We got a little bit of piety, which is also probably going to be helpful. Yeah, good stuff. Right. And now we arrive back. It says a ton of these, which we already had. Also gets this magnificent liege for 20 years, which gives you vassal limit as well. It's nice and vassal um, tax contribution of 20%. Good. Yeah, happy with that. And every visited vassal gets 30 opinion of me. Right, and now we're back. And we're ready to, in theory... Ooh, what's this? Train for a tournament? Hold court. Yeah, less interested. 
Um, now we're ready, in theory, to start declaring some wars. Now, I'm actually thinking I might interfere in your war somewhat. How many does uh, Dio have? Dio has 36. If I was to declare on one of these other ones, like this one, I could take a bunch of their land, and that would also help out this guy's war. Let's do that. I'm going to start by declaring on you. I'm going to do a holy war for your main kingdom. Next up, who else is in this war? He just ended his war? Wait, did that invalidate it? It shouldn't have, because he was declared on Dio. Uh, guess that might have invalidated his war, but... Or he white-pieced. The other option is he just white-pieced. Um, can I declare on you while I'm in here? I cannot, okay. Well, I guess if you're no longer at war with my vassal, then I'm also going to declare for, like... Uh, your kingdom as well, while I'm here. That's fine. These are good wars. Uh, might take this one, just to clear that out. Yeah, I have to do the holy war for the whole kingdom there as well. I'm going to run out of piety, but we'll probably get some back during the war. And then... What's this? Just a tiny little king. Oh, that's part of this kingdom. It's just tiny and over here. That's annoying. Um... I'm just thinking, so if I go down, up, through here, I probably want to grab this place. Uh, yeah. Then maybe I want to seize to your lands from you. And seize to your lands. Aha! There we go. And then seize to your lands. Perfect. So now we're going down, through here, through here, up here, up over here. Wonderful. That seems good for a couple of wars. That's a lot of troops that are already here. Okay, uh, I want to be raising in the center then. So somewhere like... There. Somewhere like... There. And I want to raise all men at arms. And obviously, we're going to lead. Where are we? So we're not the best leader, but we do have... Unyielding Defender, so we lose less troops, and we have Organizer, which means that we can reach places very, very, very quickly. So, I think that seems like a good point to end the episode for today. Thank you very much for watching. Next time, we're going to take a huge chunk out of the remaining Indian lands. And yeah, I guess we're just going to go wild with wars over all of this and this. Probably. I might see if we can get a uh, claimant here. There are a few claimants, so... There's not that many, but like, there's, some of you are dead. You're not claimants if you're dead. You do understand that, right? Um, Yeah, so we might try and see if we can get some uh, claimants on some of these larger ones that are multiple kingdoms, just to help us out, but yeah, we'll see. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.